Hi, this is Dr. Neil Noto Roberto, I Care 2020. I'm here today to answer some frequently asked questions about post-operative cataract surgery vision issues. Uh, specifically, um, why the vision is different or variable uh, when compared to initial visits, or more importantly, why would it degrade after time, or why does the vision take a longer period of time to come in and then, um, and, and then reach some variability afterwards? Uh, really, the answers to those questions are very specific to the patient and to the problem that that patient may or may not have. Um, so let's tackle them one by one. First, a patient may not be seeing as clearly as they expect initially. Uh, and the frequent reason for that is because of secondary issues with the cornea. Um, what we typically see is that there can be some excess swelling uh, on the, uh, where the incision was made and that distorts the cornea. And that distortion causes light to be focused in an asymmetric pattern. That means not evenly. So a lens, which is going to, the lens implant that you received will definitely focus the light properly. But if it's not receiving the light from the front of the eye, which is where the cornea is, then we're gonna get some disparity there or some asymmetry. And that can sometimes cause delayed clarity. But as that cornea continues to heal, then the vision can come in a lot, uh, it, it come in at a normal pace or to the uh, level, the point which we expect. Another common reason is uh, dry eye syndrome. Dry eye syndrome, besides being the leading reason why people across the world go to the eye doctor, not because they say they have dry eyes, but because they have the symptoms of dry eyes, redness, irritation, fluctuating vision, which is extremely common. After surgery, the inflammation of the eye can cause people who already have underlying dry eye that may or may not be managed to, to, its ma to the maximum. Um, it can cause the dry eye to become exacerbated, causing extremely variable vision, suboptimal results in terms of what we expect, and of course, an unhappy patient. So that needs to be addressed and managed, which it can be, thank God. And by escalating the level of care, uh, we can really uh, stabilize and improve that patient's outcome. Um, the last reason can be sometimes inflammatory nature inside the eye. So sometimes we see that there's excessive inflammation that affects the front of the eye. Uh, that's the part where the iris and the lens are sitting, or sometimes in the back of the eye near the retina, causing swelling there. This unfortunately uh, will cause the same symptoms, which is suboptimal or poor vision post cataract surgery, but again, can be addressed, mitigated, and then once that's done medically, the patient can achieve the results we're looking for. There are a subset of patients, unfortunately, who have long chronic uh, issues with inflammation where their vision never reaches the, the full capacity where we expected them to be, but that's very uncommon, but needs to be uh, you know, addressed. I hope this helped a lot, and if you have any further questions for us, please feel free to reach us on our website. There's a contact us button at the top, and we usually respond within 24 to 48 hours. Thank you again. This is Neil Noto Roberto with iCare 2020.